Wow, what a year it's been. Can you believe it? Can you believe a year ago today there was no tracked hands available for purchase on the marketplace? And since then, Fantastic Contraption has been a launch title on the HTC Vive, launch title on the Oculus Touch, and uh, just last month we announced we're coming to PSVR soon. So, a lot of work's been happening in the last year. And believe me, in the last year, um, our whole team, uh, everyone at Radio Games, Northwood Games, and our audio partners, A Shell in the Pit Audio, we've all been working really hard trying to get the game from our initial launch state to the actual vision we had, um, trying to take it to that point where it actually contains all the features and all the awesome that we wanted to be there right from day one. And I'm proud to announce that with this update, we're finally there. We're finally at our uh, sort of our final product. And of course, we're adding a whole bunch of, you know, bug fixes and minor improvements everywhere throughout the game. But the really big feature we're adding with this update is the level editor. Now, the level editor has been a long time coming, but we think it's a real key piece to the fantastic contraption experience because it has the ability to extend the longevity of the game out so that there will be infinite levels as long as people keep creating them. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to note is that in this video, I am playing in a standing mode. Uh, I'm not playing in room scale mode. I'm playing where the ground is kind of lifted up. You can see with this uh, scale model here, kind of how big I am looming over the field. So just to show off that uh, we're now fully supporting seated and standing gameplay. So how do we start up the level editor? Well. You go to the menu space by putting on the, the helmet, the Dark World helmet. And here we are in our menu space. You, know, you notice in the back there, there's a new mask. And if you put that mask on your face, it puts you into level editing mode. Now first you'll notice that it looks very similar to the real game. It, but it has this little switch in the back corner. You flip the switch and it kind of zooms you in and zooms you out. And the switch creates this nice toggle to allow you to switch to and from an editing stance and a playing stance. New companion as well, Zoomy the Mouse, hides up in the Cheese Moon. And Sarah Fox. Sarah Fox is our tutorial. Hey Sarah! So Sarah the Tutorial Fox actually shows uh, you how to use the level editor, but I've always really liked Sarah Fox because it's an example of this incredible technology. It's kind of mocap of the future, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is actually Sarah Northway from uh, Northway Games. She's actually just acted this out with vocals and um, we just recorded it. We recorded all the data points and now she can, ex she can demonstrate the level editor with clear, easy examples. And you can see I'm playing along while she's demonstrating how to do things. So one of the fun things was, as I was standing there looking at one of these little poles that I had made, I just suddenly got this idea, and, bye Sarah, and I was like, hey, you know what, I want to make something. And it's wonderful that the level editor just makes it so easy to make things, that when an idea comes to your head, you can just really quickly slap it together. Like, like watch this, I'm just goofing around, I'm not trying to make a level, I'm just goofing around in the editor, but look how quick it is to just make a dumb joke. Clang, 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 clang. There I am in prison. Yeah, I mean, like, the fact that, that, that you can go from uh, an idea to execution so quickly uh, is why this level editor is just so amazing. We have a whole bunch of hidden shortcuts in there. You can see we, uh, there's a way you can select multiple objects just by making them all intersect. Um, we have uh, automatic snapping to make sure that there's uh, no massive seams in your level. Um, <clears throat> a lot of precision tools to make everything just work out correctly. So this is my attempt at making a genuine level, not just goofing around. This is me just trying to quickly make a level that I would actually want to play in the real game, just to kind of demonstrate how quick this can happen. So I'm starting out with a step up, and I'm starting out with a dynamic uh, yellow log to kind of act as an obstacle. Now we're gonna need a goal area, so I'm gonna make this nice, big, and generous at the back of the play area here. I'm gonna snap that to the surface, there we go. Yeah, look at that, that looks pretty nice, right? Now we need a goal object, let's see. Uh, here's one that's never been used in the actual game. It's kind of this uh, diamond shape. 
All right, let's zoom in and let's see if we can actually uh, do something with this level. It looks like the land's a little bit crooked. Maybe it won't be a problem. Okay, let's call an echo over here. And the great thing about the level editor is you're not stuck just editing the level. You could still play the game as normal, which means you can go from uh, building to iterating on the level design instantly. Um, it's no switching of modes, you just do them both side by side. So you can see I'm building a contraption to try to beat this level. And, you know, it's just, it's just so, it, it really reduces your iteration time and allows you to make much better levels. So that crooked land is annoying me. So I'm just going to pick it up, snap it to orientation. There we go. And that's how quick and easy that was. There we go, nice and straight now. So like, we're just trying to make it as easy as possible to make levels and these little touches just make it so simple and so quick. We really hope a lot of people use this to make a whole variety of levels. So just to make sure this level is possible in its current state, I'm just building a really basic quick contraption and I'm just trying to see if I can even make it over this initial hump without, uh, without too much effort. You see, I can actually get up and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this looks like it's doable, right? It's, it's pretty doable. But um, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier. So I want this to be uh, an easier uh, level, like uh, a, a level that would have come early on. I don't want this to be the hardest level of all time or anything. So I'm gonna add a little slope up here. Just to make it easier to climb up that initial hurdle. There we go. Yeah, just lower that down and pull it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Go back, zoom in, and try my contraption again. Look at that, much more smoothly rides up the ramp. Oh, dropping the, dropping the goal object there. Let's see if I can fix that with a slope. Uh, nope, nope, can't do it. All right, um, we need something. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right, I think this is looking good. Yeah, go, go, go. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, yes, yes. All right, so now I know that this level's possible. I could take off the mask, I could summon in the keyboard bug, and look at this, nice little keyboard on the wings of this little monster butterfly. You notice the level's just called Custom Island because that's the default name. Well, we gotta make up a new name for this. What'll it be? How about... Yeah, Slope Logger. How about Slope Logger? There you go, nice, quick, easy name. When you're done, just toss the bug aside and you look back at your contraption and look at that. Slope Logger is now the name of your level. Drop it on the table, saved, shared online, just that easy. That's how quick it is. Now anyone can go online and play this exact level. You can download the patch right now and you could play this level. That's how easy it is, right? Like that, I, that was not practiced, that was not pre-scripted. Yeah, it was an easy, simple level, but that's how quick you can go from idea to execution, getting it in-game, tested, verified, working. That's, that's it, that's how easy and quick it is. And that's why it took us almost a year to get this feature deployed. And this is why we're proud to say that this is going to be like the last major feature for Fantastic Contraption. So thank you from all of us. Again, Northway Games, Radial Games, and Shell in the Pit Audio. Thank you from all of us for being supporters of our game and uh, for being with, for holding on white knuckled on this wild ride that's been VR 2016. I can't wait to see what 2017 holds. Hope to see you again shortly.